hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys we are going to fix the issue xbox is not working on your windows which is the game bar okay so first of all we need to make sure that the game bar setting is enabled from the settings so click on start menu and click on setting you need to follow the steps in the windows 11 as well same and go to gamings and once you game, go to gamings option you need to make sure that the xbox game bar is enabled from here okay and if you are using the shortcut key you can press windows windows key plus g button okay like this and it should come okay this is the xbox gaming bar and it should come by default this option if not coming okay you can press the your shortcut key like window plus if I press shift plus S button now you will see it is coming up okay so this is how you can create your shortcut key if you want to remove it just click on remove option and then click on save the by default option is window plus G button if the option is already enabled from here and you have modified the shortcut key as well still not working we can repair it okay so how to repair it go to windows search bar sometime it may corrupted so type there xbox and you will see xbox game bar click on app settings once you click on app setting you need to just drag in and click on repair option first and this is the windows inbuilt feature this will try to repair the xbox bar game bar on your windows 10 or 11 if still not working you can reset it and click on reset okay once reset is done just restart your system from here and then check if your issue is solved or not if still not solve your issue we can go to the advanced level which is the registry editor okay so go to windows search bar type the registry and run it as administrator registry editor you will get the result and click on yes button when the prompt opens okay once you open the registry editor you need to just double click on the h key current user then you need to double click on software then double click on microsoft scroll down to the m series this option okay you need to click on then windows this option double click on current version and look for game dbr in a g series you can see here game dbr once you double click on game dbr you will see the most of registries here okay so we need to create the new registry key here so how to do that you need to write this okay app captured enabled I will give this into my description box just you need to right click new and the word 32 bit and paste the value here you can see here okay and hit enter registry cannot rename the specific already exists okay or already exist in my system so let me delete this and look for that option in a A series you can see here app capture enabled okay you need to double click on this option or right click or modify and make sure its value is 1 if its value is not 1 its value is 0 it means it is disabled from the registry editor make its value to 1 click on ok and click on restart your system restart your system after applying this methods and your issue should fix okay so I'm giving this path into my description box so that you can directly navigate through this path 
okay and if still not solve your problem it's time to remove the game bar okay so this is the powershell command to remove the its package so let me click on copy and open the powershell as administrator if nothing is working this is the last way to troubleshoot this issue right click run it as administrator and click on yes button when the prompt opens okay if it is blinking like this hit enter again hit enter okay and paste this command here and just hit enter once you hit enter xbox will be removed let me show you just you need to restart your system once also let me restart my system and then i will reinstall the package so i have restarted my system and go to microsoft store open the microsoft store from here now on the search bar you need to type the xbox and you will see here xbox xbox game bar and you will see this option xbox game bar just click on that okay and click on this option get option and this will reinstall the package okay once package is installed click on open and you can see you can sign in with the microsoft account and your issue should fix you are good to go okay so hope this video is useful for you and your issue has been fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech